Hi everyone, Tommy here, and today I'd like to talk to you about our new FPGA board, Artie. Artie is a low-cost FPGA board designed for makers. There's a lot of really cool hardware on this little guy, and for a closer look at his specifications, check out this video by Xilinx. Jimbo does a really good job walking around the board and talking to the out-of-box demo that ships on Artie. What I really want to do today is walk through the workflow of building a new project in Vivato using Artie's base system design. After that, we'll get started in SDK. In this project, we'll be using the Artie to drive this strip of RGB LEDs. The first step is going to be to plug in the RGB LEDs. We're going to take the 5 volt wire and plug it into the 5 volt connector, the ground to the ground connector, and we're going to take the signal pin and put it into JB1. Next, we'll plug in the micro USB to the micro USB port. Find the tutorial project files by following the link to the Digilent Wiki below. Download and extract these files to a directory that you can remember. I used C slash work. Within Vivado 2015.3, find the tickle console below and type cd c slash work slash bsd slash proj proj. This will bring you to the directory that contains our tickle script. Now type source dot slash create project dot tickle. This script will generate the base system design project for Artie. You should see the base system design here. Here you'll see all the peripherals as well as the microblaze processor in the center. On the left side under design, click the sources tab, expand the constraints folder and find pins.xdc. This contains all the hardware pins, mostly connected to the xadc pins. We'll be adding a pin here later, so remember where that is. Now that we're familiar with our base system design, we're going to go ahead and add our custom IP repo. On the left side, under Project Manager, click Project Settings, click IP, click Repository Manager, click the plus, and find DigiLED-Master. Select that, and verify that it's in your IP repositories list, and press OK. Now we can click Add IP by clicking this button here and type in DigiL. You should see DigiLED underscore V1.0. Double click that to add it to your design. Click Run Connection Animation to connect it to your Microblaze peripheral bus. Double click the DigiLED block click the HSV bullet and type in the number of LEDs that you have. Leave refresh delay at 2000 and click OK. If we scroll in here we see that we have LED out. This should connect to connector B1 on our RD board. Right click anywhere and click create port. Type LED underscore pin and set the direction as an output. This will be our pin connected to connector JB1. Now click and drag from the left side of the port to LED out to connect the two. Remember the name LED underscore pin because we're going to add that to our XDC file here. Open up rdmaster.xdc found in the project files named rd underscore master.xdc. Find pmod header JB and copy the first line. Go into your pins.xdc and paste that line. Delete JB0 and type LED underscore pin. This will connect LED pin to package pin E15, connector JB1. Now that we have the LED pin in our project, right click system wrapper dash structure and click remove file from project. Make sure the box is checked and press OK. Click Ignore and Continue with Invalid Top Module and press OK. Now right click System and click Create HDL Wrapper to make a new HDL wrapper for our project. Let Vivado manage wrapper and auto update and press OK. Now that we have a top level module, we can click Generate Bitstream. 
This process could take anywhere between five minutes and an hour, depending on your computer. So get comfortable. Now that our bitstream is generated, go to File, go down to Export, and click Export Hardware. Make sure the box is checked, and click OK. Now that that's done, go to File and click Launch SDK. Click OK again, and SDK will open up. Now that we're in SDK, click the down arrow next to New, and click Application Project. Name the project something like DigiLEDs, and then click Next. Make sure it's an empty application, and then click Finish. This will create our own empty C project along with the board support file. Back in our project files folder, click and drag main.c into the source folder in SDK. Click copy files and click OK. This will import main.c into our project. Now I'll run through how the buttons are set up so you have a basic understanding on how XGPIO works. This will be the object that communicates with the buttons on the RD. Down to initialize, we call xgpio underscore initialize. We give them the address of the buttons object and the device ID, which we find by typing xpar, holding control and press space, and then searching through our peripherals. We know that the buttons are connected to axi underscore gpio underscore sw. We go back to our board design, find push buttons, and see where it's connected. It should be connected to the second channel on AXI underscore GPIO underscore switch block. Keep in mind that it's on channel 2. We set the data direction by giving it the object channel 2 and then, and then hex all Fs to make it an input. Later in the program we call it or we read the buttons by calling XGPIO underscore discrete read and we call buttons and the second channel. Now that you have a basic understanding on how that works, we'll go ahead and program the FPGA by going up to Xilinx Tools and clicking Program FPGA. We'll click Program, and the RD will be programmed with the MicroBlaze processor. Now that the FPGA is programmed, we can program the MicroBlaze processor by clicking Digi LEDs and then clicking the Run As button found above, or right-clicking Digi LEDs, finding Run As, and clicking Launch on Hardware, System Debugger. This will program the MicroBlaze processor. Once your board is programmed, you should see your LED strip come to life. Pressing button 0 changes the pattern displayed on the strip. Check out the description below for links to Digilance Wiki. There you'll find more information and a bunch of other projects. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to stay up to date with Digilance products and services. See you next time.